Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I want to introduce you guys to the owners and operators of Hoof Beat Farms out of Hillsboro, North Carolina. Uh, I want to introduce you to Jason Hawkins and his two sons. This is Chase and Aiden. They're going to kind of walk us through a process here on the farm and then they also raise cattle for beef. They're going to explain to us how the process and how unique this beef is. And we're going to also be doing some uh, future cooks on using this beef. So. Guys, go ahead and take it away. We're, a, we're a, a, a grain farm that basically is a beer farm. So everything we raise here goes to either making beer or whiskey. Um, we have partnerships with uh, some establishments in Durham. And uh, basically the seed we plant in the ground here uh, comes back eventually as uh, spent grain or mash. And our uh, livestock eat that and then we process that. And so the uh, the, the result is you have a full circle from seed to plate, awesome. and that's pretty much um, what we do with with our um, with what our cows eat. Uh, the beef develops a distinctly different taste that is uh, not like grass fed, and it's not like corn fed. It's um, it's basically beer fed, right. and so uh, uh, Chase handles a lot of our grain operation in terms of. Uh, planting and harvesting. Aiden is more of the cow man, the barn man, so I'll let Chase kind of explain uh, when this wheat went in the ground, when it came out, and then we'll go look at the grain bin and kind of go from there. All right, Chase is going to explain the planting of the wheat and that whole process. So Chase, can you give us some, uh, some information on that? All right, so this here is a winter red wheat which we plant in September. We start off by uh, deep tilling the ground, which really brings up that older, more nutrient soil. Um, then we go off with a, a harrow, they break up those big clumps and make sure we uh, really till in the uh, more nutrient soil. Then we go off with a uh, field cultivator, which really breaks those smaller clumps, makes the ground ready to uh, plant. Then we go off with a, um, I think it's a, I'm not exactly sure the link, but we go off with a uh, drill and then we plant the wheat. And then uh, in uh, July, we start with a, come off with the uh, combine. And then we combine all of this, come back with a uh, baler and we build the straw, which we use for bedding on our cows and we sell the straw. And then we take the wheat to the you know, distillery, stuff like that. All right, so I, think, I guess we're going to go to the feed bins now? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll see you guys there. All right, Aiden is going to talk about the grains and the, the, the grain bins and so forth. Go ahead, Aiden. All right, so what happens is the wheat comes from the field and we put it in the grain bin and our grain bins hold uh, around 7,000 bushels and over here is our farm team auger and the grain goes from down there up to that and then there's a, there's a hole up there that it goes into. That's awesome. You want to show them the wheat in your hand? Oh yeah, and then here's some wheat that came from some of the fields. Jason's going to talk about the cows and the, the final message and how everything kind of incorporates together. So basically our cows uh, feed off of uh, whiskey and beer grain. Um, and the beer grain, the whiskey grain came from the fields we were at earlier. Right. Um, and the, uh, the end result is you have a different taste of beef. Um, and we call it more of a full circle. Right. So um, conceptually you can, uh, if you drink or uh, <clears throat> eat a burger at the same time, both those elements are connected. One of our products that we grow off the farm is with partnership with uh, a distillery in Durham called Mystic Bourbon. Um, they're available in most ABC stores. Right. Um, and the grain that grows that whiskey comes off our farm. All right, Jason, thank you so much. Thank you for coming out.